Hi, I'm Benji Tolosa, Associate Dean for the Core Curriculum, and I'd like to welcome you to the Ateneo de Manila University Loyola Schools. What I'd like to share with you is an overview of the new Loyola Schools curricula, particularly the Core Curriculum, the process that led to its revision, and its roots in the Ateneo de Manila's educational philosophy and vision of the ideal Ateneo graduate. The Ateneo de Manila core curriculum, grounded in the liberal arts, had already been formally in place for many years, as the college became a university during its centennial year in 1959. While revisions took place in the 1970s and 1980s, which strengthened the history, social science, and Filipino language components of the curriculum, it was in the mid-1990s that a major overhaul was undertaken in the context of a rapidly changing world at the threshold of a new millennium. The core curriculum was also reviewed amidst the expected growth of what was then known as the School of Arts and Sciences, which became the present Loyola Schools in the 21st century. This revised core curriculum was implemented during the academic year 1998 to 1999. Beginning in school year 2013 to 2014, the Loyola Schools undertook a comprehensive curricular review, which led to the development and approval of new core majors and co-curricula from 2015 to 2018. The review process and the new curricula that emerged from it were ultimately a reaffirmation of the Ateneo's identity as a Jesuit institution and what that means in the kind of education the university offers its students. This communal reflection process paved the way for conversations among internal and external stakeholders and collaboration among faculty members and formation professionals within and across disciplines. The implementation of the new curricula commenced in school year 2018 to 2019. Why did we revise the curricula? The K-12 national reform, which added two years to Philippine basic education, and the changes in the general education requirements of the Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, were an impetus for this major curricular review. The Loyola schools also addressed the shift to outcomes-based education and the move towards global qualifications frameworks that tries to make educational qualifications more comparable across countries. But it became clear to us as we set out reviewing, redesigning, training for, and implementing our curricula that we were not just responding to external developments and challenges. What we embarked on was a challenging, sometimes contentious, but truly meaningful and fruitful process of understanding ourselves and our identity. What does it mean for the Ateneo de Manila to call itself a Filipino, Catholic, and Jesuit university. What makes Ateneo education and Loyola School's formation in particular truly distinctive? The curriculum carries the mission. The mission of the Ateneo de Manila that comes all the way from the personal experience and vision of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus. For him and the first Jesuits, education is an institutional way to help students find God and their own calling and mission in life through encounters with the mystery and meaning of human life amidst the whole of creation. The eminent Jesuit historian Father John O'Malley has pointed out that when Jesuits established institutions of higher education, they sought to combine the objectives of two school systems which were already present during their time. The search for truth, the production of knowledge, and the provision of rigorous professional training, which was the traditional goal of universities, or veritas. And secondly, the formation of character and the whole person, the formation of leaders who will promote the common good, or pietas, which was the objective of the humanistic schools of the Renaissance. These twin goals of the educational apostolate were seen as consistent with Christianitas. 
Christian formation to help souls or to help people, which was the larger mission. In contemporary times, beginning with Father Pedro Arupe as Jesuit Superior General, particularly after Vatican II, this educational mission has been expressed as the formation of persons for and with others. With Christ as the model of what it means to be fully human, the Ateneo de Manila as a Jesuit university seeks to form students toward human excellence, to become persons of discernment, learning, and action who will be of service to the global and local community. The ideal Ateneo graduate is a Christ-centered leader of conscience, competence, compassion, and commitment. What makes Ateneo education distinctive is the deliberate weaving together of the core curriculum, the major disciplinary fields, and the co-curricular programs, so that what we provide is both specialized professional training and holistic formation of character. It is an education that seeks to develop intellectual depth, enhance creative imagination, deepen social involvement, and nurture spiritual maturity. This is the framework of the new Loyola Schools curricula. The difference with the past is that we have made explicit and spelled out the process of integral formation. This framework has allowed us to adjust and adapt government education requirements into the Ateneo curricula and the university's mission, rather than the other way around. The Loyola School's core curriculum is not to be equated with general education or GE subjects, which mainly provide basic skills or introductory courses in the disciplines, some of which have been transferred to senior or junior high school. Nor is it simply a set of required courses or electives distributed across different fields, departments, or schools which students can take whenever they choose. There is an inner logic in the stages of formation in the sequencing of courses. They strive for both academic competence and value formation through a deliberate progression of learning. Thus, courses and programs in the core majors and co-curricula are organized under four stages of formation. Foundations, exploring and equipping the self, rootedness, investigating and knowing the world, deepening, defining the self in the world, leadership, engaging, and transforming the world. Ateneo students start from foundational courses meant to sharpen their language and communication skills and equip them with basic scientific thinking and mathematical approaches. Courses which explore faith and spirituality, facilitate self-understanding, and provide human encounters vicariously through literary texts or directly through social exposure, prepare students for investigating and knowing the world, whether it's physical, ecological, aesthetic, cultural, linguistic, socioeconomic, or historical dimensions, and defining the self in the world, bringing them to a readiness to discern life options and life choices in their fields. The goal is that they will become leaders who will engage the world and commit themselves to using their competences to work for social transformation rooted in a mature Christian faith. The integral, interdisciplinary, and Ignatian formation that cares for each individual and shapes the whole person is an invitation and preparation for Ateneo students to become persons for and with others, persons of conscience, competence, compassion, and commitment. We hope this kind of formation will help our students thrive in a world in which 40% of current jobs will be lost to artificial intelligence, and 65% of young people now will be in jobs that don't exist today. So the world needs people with transdisciplinary creativity, passion, heart, and soul, precisely the kind of graduates we hope to form. The latest QS Global Rankings of Graduate Employability provide one kind of affirmation that we are on the right track. Ateneo Education aims to form students as lifelong learners who are able to discover and fulfill their distinctive calling and mission. The times call for leaders who are globally attuned but also deeply rooted in local needs and aspirations, 
especially of the poor, vulnerable, and excluded. A particular challenge in the Philippines is to form leaders who are culturally connected with the majority of Filipinos and who have a strong commitment to upholding human dignity, public accountability, and the common good. The Ateneo hopes that its graduates will become engaged citizens and transformative leaders who freely, gratefully, and actively commit themselves to a life of service inspired by a faith and spirituality that promote justice and mercy and facilitate healing and reconciliation. Again, welcome to the Ateneo de Manila, Leola Schools.